January is known as Divorce Month to professionals in the legal field, but why is that? Well, Fox 10's Marissa Starback spoke with a family law attorney about the reasons behind it and what she expects for 2024. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Meyer. Hi, Christina. Yeah, of course, there are a million and one reasons why couples get divorced, but experts say they see the most of them during this month, January of any year. We spoke with one legal expert who says she expects this year to be much of the same. Divorce is often uh, a, a New Year's resolution, getting, getting a fresh start. Annette Cox Sandoval has seen a steady stream of divorce clients, but it usually ramps up in January when the courts reopen after the holidays. I think that 2024 is going to be much like uh, all the years since COVID, to be honest, um, the divorce rate really hasn't slowed down. The family law attorney says financial stress sometimes plays a role in how quickly people file for divorce. She expects that to continue in the new year. But in a tricky housing market, it sometimes requires some finessing. Parties sometimes decide to stay on the mortgage and stay on the title for a little bit longer uh, even though they uh, would be divorced um, in order to avoid the higher interest rates and kind of the sluggish sales market. Divorce usually has a negative connotation, but Cox Sandoval says it shouldn't because ending something negative can be one of the most positive changes you can make. It is a solution to a person's kind of life problems or their marriage problems and so I think in that way it's it's a positive. Her advice to avoid getting to this point is to prepare yourself and your partner legally before entering into a marriage. It never hurts to talk with an attorney prior to getting married about doing a uh, prenuptial agreement. She says prenups are the best way to protect both parties before you enter into that marriage. But once you're in the marriage, the best way to avoid it, she says, after years of experience and witnessing this, she says that would be good communication. Reporting live, Marissa Sarback for Fox 10 News.